Hello guys, this is Peter and you are looking AVA Group Media Channel. In this episode we make a new Adobe project and I show you how you can synchronize the voice with the picture if you use a separate uh, voice recorder and a separate video recorder. So the first step is to create a new project. You can enter the name of the project, like a test project and the folder you want to save it and the method you want to render it. If you have a stronger uh, graphics card, which I have is a GTX 1080 Ti, I set it to the GPU to accelerate the rendering. Otherwise, if you have a stronger um, CPU than a GPU, then you can set it to the software only. And then by OK, you start the project. The next step is to take all the media files and move it to the import media tab inside Adobe Premiere Pro. As I promise you, I show you how to merge the voice with the picture. I select the voice data and by pressing the control key, I select the video data. Then right click, merge clips, don't change anything, just press OK. And if I pull this into the timeline, you see that the camera was started earlier than the voice recorder and the camera was stopped earlier as the voice recorder and we can check if it works. Uh, the thing is, if this window is here in the middle monitor, I tend to look on the monitor and not in the camera and this was a very helpful comment from you in the beginning. So I put it here on side and then I'm forced to look into the camera and the footage is better. So it works. And what happens if the video doesn't have a audio track? In this case, you have to march them manually. In this example, you can see that the footage doesn't have any audio stream with it. So we move the video data and the audio data beside each other. We search for the approximately place where the picture is near to the audio. But you can see that the picture is quicker as the audio. We select the audio data, press the Alt button and with the left and right arrows we can move the audio data frame by frame. Fix the camera on the wall independent of the table, but this is a work for the future. And so is this perfect. And if you ask why I use a Zoom H1 to record the voice, here is an example where I can show you the difference between the voice recording of the Zoom H1 and the cell phone. Which records what you see on that camera. Uh, the first question is, why isn't it here in the middle? Uh, the thing is, if this window is here in the middle monitor, I tend to look on the monitor and not in the camera and this was 
So this was the video today. If you liked it, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends so they can learn as well something about Adobe Premiere Pro. In the next episodes, we go through a full cutting and we look for cool tricks like masking, uh, zooming, cropping and setting audio levels and uh, adjusting colors in the videos. So, see you next time. Ciao!